Hey, it's Justin Kanoi, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, we're taking a look at how I organize my music files. When you start to acquire music on a regular basis, it's really important to make sure that you've got those files organized properly. And I think one of the best ways to organize music, really, it's, it's three steps. The first is having one folder that will contain all of the different music services or the different ways that you acquire music from. So for instance, if you subscribe to three different music pools like ERG, Top Hits USA, and Promo Only, create one folder that says My Music, and then within the My Music folder, you're gonna have individual folders for those three different music services. And then within that, you'd start putting in the music that you're acquiring from those services. But I'd still recommend doing one more level of organization. So let me demonstrate to you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's start by taking a look at my main folder on my hard drive. We'll just call this sort of the grandparent folder. And in it, I have two parent folders that we'll call DJ Music and Pool Complete. Now the DJ Music folder really represents how I originally organized my files. And this was sort of pre-promo only pool. So all of this is really from probably 2003 to, to 2012, because all of this, again, was from CD rips, uh, could have been some random downloads, and of course, uh, music that I was getting through my promo-only CD subscriptions, which by the way, shout out to the old days. And I did this for years. In fact, we can even look at what I did with promo-only, because when I would get my promo-only CDs, I would just rip the sort of the top songs, the ones that I knew that I would likely be playing. So this method of organization really couldn't, as a matter of fact, it's kind of crazy that I did this for as long as I did. But once I started downloading my music from Promo Only Pool, now I was getting a lot more music than I had ever had in the past. So there had to be a way to better organize myself. That then becomes the introduction of this Pool Complete folder. And this really represents how I've been acquiring music since 2013. So through Promo Only Pool, through Select Mix, and through some other music pools. And it all sort of starts with the year that I downloaded it from. Since Promo Only delivers music on a monthly basis, such as mainstream radio or dance radio or country radio, those are monthly releases, it made it really easy to sort of organize things by month. So let's just take a look at Promo only 2020 and just July for instance so these are the releases that I downloaded in July of 2020 and in fact here we are mid-December and I haven't even downloaded any of my December releases I figured why not just do it with all of you I'm gonna open my promo only pool and promo only makes it really simple this is the interface so rather than having to go through and click on individual songs, you click on individual releases. So you can see everything that's in red means that I've downloaded it already. And if it's, it's, if it's in green, I need to do it still. So I'm gonna start clicking on all of the December releases that I need. So that would be country radio, mainstream radio, dance radio, urban, rhythm, modern rock. We got a lot to do today. All right, all those tracks went into this need to tag folder. And so I'm gonna open tag and rename. That's just the tag editor that I use. I can put a link to it in the description. But what I just like to do is just double check to make sure that all of these tags are in here properly. I wanna make sure that it's properly saying it's the correct album and the correct year, which is really important when I do my filters later. And then everything's pretty much good to go. And so from there, that's when I'll open my promo 2020 folder. We're gonna create a new folder for December. Just rename this one to 12 December. And I'll open that. And I'm just gonna drag, clean all this up. Let's select all these December ones. So December, 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 December. That's it. Copy and move them all into there. 
So now I've got pretty much the entire year also complete. We can say goodbye to 2020 in terms of the music we're gonna download and be ready for a new year. That's sort of the first step in organizing my music files on the hard drive itself. Next is a whole nother separate video on how I do it within the software. So stay tuned for that. Well, I hope you found a few new tips on how to organize your files. If you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And by the way, if you've got some music organization tips, I'd love to see what you do. Maybe there's some things that you do differently that I could learn about. So put them down in the comments. I'd love to read them. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I will see you next time online.